all I've known is racing on the weekends for the last 20 years. A lot of people behind this young man today, it pays off. I love the idea of competing. Darrell Wallace Jr. is gonna get his first win in the Camping World Truck Series. One of 36 of us is gonna win. Understanding where you're at in life and where you're at in the sport, knowing the opportunity that's on your hands. It's up to you to figure out do you have what it takes to achieve that next level. It's up to you to figure out how to accomplish that. And Bubba Wallace picks up the victory. Daryl Wallace Jr. is going to hold him Bubba off. wins at Eldor. They're not going to have anything for Bubba Wallace. Huge win for Daryl Wallace Jr. God dang, I love you guys. He has scored the win. Bubba Wallace wins at Kansas. What do you want to know? I know my first race was a national event. 300, 400 plus carts total. I remember spinning, and the last thing I saw was uh, an old uh, Chevy Suburban sitting there, and all I thought I was gonna do was cream the Suburban, right? But I came to a very, very soft stop. It was the catch fence that I did not see. That's really all I remember from my first race, but I did ask my dad, if we could fix it and get back out there. The front bumper bar and nerf bars were all bent up and it was pretty mangled. But when I asked if we could fix it and get back out, he, he knew like, all right, I guess we'll show back up next week. I guess that's where the love came from. I can't wait to see what this kid does this year. A tremendous race car driver with a lot of personality. It's gonna be fun to watch. It takes a lot of passion and determination from a rip. It's a cycle. It's a rinse and repeat each and every week. And you're growing your database constantly, how to be a better athlete, how to be a better teammate, how to be a better driver. It's a slippery slope on how you deal with pressure. Two weeks in a row making rookie mistakes, six years in a cup, need to be replaced. When people count us out, I love to prove people wrong. If I didn't blow a tire at Kansas, you know, we probably would have won the race, but you'll never know, like that's life. Boy, this is huge. He was running second. He brings out the caution. Tough break for Bubba Wallace. Booty, I'm not gonna make a lap. I just about wrecked right there, so call it now. Our team will never receive that side of things to be able to look at, right? It's always, well, you only made it because of this. You only won because of this. So people constantly moving the goalposts is fun to outkick the coverage each and every weekend. Advancing into the playoffs will be Bubba Wallace. Oh, yeah! Great job, Pam. Proud of you guys, thank you. You have to appreciate the spotlight that you're in. You have to respect the moment that you're in and the brand that you're carrying. A massive brand like Mobile One continues to push for more in all forms of motorsports. We're three years in to this new deal. It's been an interesting journey, just seeing how much we've grown. Having a solid partner like Mobile One has expedited the process. My cup career has been a pretty solid one on the resume as far as people I've raced for. What a wonderful opportunity for our sport of NASCAR. Michael Jordan's here. Coming from one of the most lethal competitors, MJ, but also coming from the guy with 200 wins in the Cup Series. They were just big on you being yourself, doing the best that you could. It's been great racing for MJ. It was great racing for the King and growing that team. It's all about growth. Seeing how much growth this sport has had, seeing how much the fan base has changed. It's the off-track process that you didn't really necessarily think would be in front of you, but 
here we are, rolled the sleeves up and, and got to work. To have people believe in you, to be a leader of change is humbling. I am no activist. I'm a person that just loves to race and that's about it, right? And so when you throw something else in front of my plate as big as that, it makes you realize who you are as a person. It helps you grow and the people around you grow. I've been proud of the social and economic change that we've made inside of our sport and proud of just being able to build race teams up. You know, as much frustrating days that we have, I think those are the days where we learn the most. We deserve to be in victory lane, but nothing's ever guaranteed. You gotta go out and fight for it and not give it away, and that's what I did. For me, racing is everything. You know, where we're at now, the pinnacle level of our sport, the Cup Series, it's a blessing to be where we're at. I'm very honored to be able to do what I do. The steps that it took to get here, it was a constant grind. From racing every weekend to wondering if you're ever gonna race again, to back in the seat full time. It's been an interesting journey and it's been a humbling one for sure.